This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Oh, he was listen to this. Well, it's five days and counting down to Starcade, the big occasion. A lot of questions are going to be answered in five days. Sports writers are asking me. They say, Ric Flair, can he withstand the awesome Russian sickle from Nikita Koloff? Well, let me remind you that Nature Boy Ric Flair survived the plane crash. They said he'd never walk, let alone ever wrestle. He's climbed back in the ring and become the greatest heavyweight champion of all time. So let me ask the question. Can Nikita Koloff with those legs that barely maintain that massive chest and those big bulging triceps, can they withstand the awesome power of the figure four leg lock? The American dream, Dusty Rhodes and Tully Blanchard. The talk is over with. And Dusty Rhodes, all that shucking and jiving and boogieing that you like to do, is it going to help you? Because it's a race to the finish line, first blood, and we plan to take you out. Then the Rock and Roll Express, Sure, they got the belts. Sure, they got youth. Sure, they got speed. But the Andersons got experience. The Andersons got size. And they've been there so many times before. They're awesome. I tell you what, Rock and Roll Express, Dusty Rhodes, and that big one, Nikita, y'all better get ready. Mark it down as your last day on earth. 86, I said, was going to be the last day for Dusty Rhodes. And 86, it's going to be. And Starcade might just as well be the place. It's as good as any. And when I'm talking about Rhodes being through, we might as well include the Rock and Roll Express. And we might as well include Nikita. Because they're all going to go down at Starcade. Four horsemen, diamonds are forever. And so are the four horsemen. Yeah! <laughs> okay, let's go back to the ring. How about big, that? Big, big mistake there. Not letting Arn and Tully talk. That's right. Yeah, just good JJ and Oli. I don't really get. Yeah, Oli, I get. JJ, I don't. I'm Sorry. just, I said just. Like, I mean, yeah, just, right. Yeah. And here's the Midnight Express. They got some uh -huh. jackets with their faces on the back, and they're not even mm -hmm. taking the jackets off before right. these poor fellas start getting beat up. What do you think uh, this one in here with, uh, with Dennis thinking? Uh, he's probably thinking, uh, well, here's the deal. Uh, you guys, uh, are, are going to live forever. That's right. Uh, thanks to Dax and cash and FTR. Oh, I hit on my ass right there. This motherfucker go pick. Look at that camera, man. Uh, I could run it. I, I, as a matter of fact, I'd rather run a camera than get my head smacked around. Look at Bobby here. Oh, God, you bumped God damn. I, I thought you work. I thought, don't you know how to work a fucking gouge in my fucking eye? Well, whew, well that's over. <clears throat> well, at least they smell good. Yeah, that's, that's one of the things. You know, sometimes I wrestle some guys that, oh, but they stink. And, uh, yeah, I agree with I agree with them. Sometimes guys stink. These guys smell pretty good. <laughs> was that a brain buster? I thought there was going to be a suplex, and he dropped me on my fucking head. <sighs> okay. Well, <clears throat> Good thing I wore some underpants under here. Uh, good thing I wore a jock, really, because I got a big hog, and it, it, it would come out just like Nikita Koloff's came out. And uh, what the fuck happened to the back of my gut? And that'll do it. Match is over. You survived. He didn't. No. <laughs> it's pretty good. I like that finish. Oh, I did too. Yeah, I like that. I mean, you know, you usually see straight one, two, threes, but now the referee's got his back turned. Very, very. And you know what I bet? What, what do you I bet? bet? You Jim, I bet you Jim Cornette had something to do with that finish. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Mantell, Bobby Jaggers, Wahoo McDaniel, the Jayhawks, whatever the U.S. Is what everybody in professional wrestling, every sporting event in the world, there's none bigger than Starcade. We're proud to be a part of it. We're going to bring the belts right back where they belong, daddy. Right back to the Heartland in Kansas and the United States and the United States Tag Team Champions. And if the Chiefs going to be there, the Bears going to be there. Yes, if they need any help getting Manny Fernandez That's in a cage, I'll guarantee you something, brother. This man's never needed help before, but if he needs anybody, he knows we'll help him at Starcade, right, brother? That's right, Tony. Starcade just five short days away. I've got the strap match with Rude. That's no worry to me right now. 
Man, he's screaming he's not going to be in the cage. Well, I promise you one thing. You look right here. If it takes all four of us or if it takes a whole building full, Manny Fernandez will be in that cage. There will be some head shave. And come the 29th in the Met Center right there in Minneapolis, brother, me and Rest, he's got some unfinished business with the four horsemen. Das is Ricky, Chaska Watley, Barbarian, Hector Guerrero, and myself. We're going to take care of you in Starcade, the biggest event in wrestling, Thanksgiving Day. And we're going to make sure that the Raging Bull gets put in the cage and raised to the roof so he doesn't interfere with Jimmy Valiant shaving the head of the weasel yeah. Paul Jones. And then like Wahoo said, him and I are together. We have a personal score to settle and we don't leave unfinished business. Arn and Ole Anderson, you don't do what you did to Wahoo and the Baron. Minneapolis the 29th. Don't you forget it. That's all you need to know. I feel strongly that saving money is important. You know, if it's not something we worry about now, boy, we are really going to worry about it later. And I want to help you get out of debt faster and do it with cheaper monthly payments. I'm talking to you. If you're in a 30 year loan, now is the time to take years off of your loan. We're routinely helping our listeners cut five, 10, even 15 years off their loan. And you can do this without perfect credit with no money out of pocket. You've just got to start at SaveWithConrad.com. It's Jayhawks, Wahoo McDaniel, Baron Monarashki. We're coming right back with the world champion. Don't go away. And the nature boy is coming That's up next. Well. He didn't come out with the horseman. He's coming out all by himself. Mm. How about that. Mm. Yeah. Well, he's got, he's, yeah, do it. Five days away. Damn, he always looks good. It's Ric Flair, Nikita Koloff in the ring for the world heavyweight title during Star King. Tony Schiavone, there are a lot of times that I'll walk out here and I'll really fire up because I, I like the people throughout the wrestling world to feel the emotion in Ric Flair's great mind and even greater body. But this time, Tony Schiavone, I'm going to be real cool and I'm going to break this down for you. Jim Crockett Promotions, and you ask any wrestler and any federation, anything in the world, Jim Crockett Promotions puts together Starcade, and it's the greatest wrestling event of all time. We're talking about a gross gate of maybe 15, maybe $20 million. We're talking about a viewing audience of over 100,000 people. We're talking about the premier wrestling event in the world today. And Nikita Koloff, in 1983, I walked the aisle for the first time against Harley Race, and I was going after this, and I was nervous. I was scared to death. It was my second chance to be the world champion, and I was scared to death. I know what you're going through. So when you walk out here and tear off your shirt and flex your muscles, you're not doing it for yeah, some Johnny no, come lately. No you see, I don't care if you're from Russia. I beat the people in Japan, yeah. Yugoslavia, yeah. Tokyo, China, Spain, all over here. That's my job. This says world heavyweight champion. Don't care where you're from. In other words, it's my job to beat you at Thursday night, five days from now. Woo! I'm going to walk it out. I'm going to make a million dollars, and I'm going to beat the big bad wolf. Woo! Let's go to the ring. That was a fun promo. Yeah, man. It was a great one. The it big bad wolf. I'm going to see Arn Anderson going to pick up an easy win here in the ring, but yeah, I love that big bad wolf line. I do too. I, I loved his intensity and, and I'm thinking here, I'm not so sure. It looks like we're getting uh, time-wise near the end of the show. Maybe, uh, JJ was talking. Maybe they'll, they're, they're going to let Arn and Tully talk at the end of the show here. I That's don't know. the only thing I could think of that we're yeah, going right. to get this one done here with a gourd buster. Uh huh. Then we'll hear from a huffing and puffing Arn Anderson. If I had to guess. Yeah, I would think so too. Let's take a listen. right here there you go rock 
show of the unity. That's what it's all about. Go ahead, jump in there. All right. How about that, Tony Schiavone? The four horsemen. That's what it's all about. The masterminds and all the talent. The new world tag team champions. Only Lon Anderson. The new world TV champion, Tony Blanchard and Nikita. They're all going to walk out and watch me take the sickle, get up, and put the figure four on you and play the skinny leg. Here's how it goes, Tony Schiavone. The Andersons are in the attack position. You check our record in the cage. We broke legs. We broke arms. Our record in the cage is impeccable. New world tag team champions. Tony Blanchard, first blood. His specialty is laying people open. We know how you cut, Rose. You cut easy. Case closed. New world television champion. And then you overdress cue ball. You come out here with your sweater tied around your neck and your pleated pants. And we're going to show you why my cousin, The Rock's cousin, Ric Flair, did what he does better than anything else in the world is protect that world championship belt. You see, Q Ball, what you have is a big mouth and a big ego and a lot of aspirations. You got a lot of talent. But my friend, you've got in bed with a full horseman. And when you're in bed with the big dogs, Dusty Rhodes or nobody else can help you. Fans, we'll see you at Starcade Thanksgiving night. Or did we call that or what with Arn yeah. finishing up for us? Yeah, that's right, man. Did a good one. You overdressed cue ball. <laughs> that's pretty fucking cool. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.